Safe haven. I see the light. This is a manuscript page. This is what I was after. I am hunting them feverishly. Who knows? Maybe we can save Alan Wake. Maybe we can save Alice. TV in the gas station. We haven't got there yet. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. That'll be fun when we get around to it. I wonder what sort of crazy things I start babbling on the TV. Uh, I didn't see the luminous paint. Maybe this was just indicating that there's a... There was a safe haven up there, not like a secret. Okay, well, I thought that that way would be fun secret times. So why can we not just go to the gas station from over here? Oh, there's a thermos. Ah! Oh, dang it, I tried to dodge. I heard you. Alright, well... We roasted them. I guess it's just a cliff. I guess I guess the answer is there's a cliff. Is there anything else like over here? Really? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Yeah, they seem to come in twos. At least for right now. Please back off. Oh, thank goodness we have a little bit of a safe here. Okay. Phew. This feels a lot better. Oh, man. I One of my favorite things in this sort of game sort of horror game, I guess. We can call it that. Seems pretty horrible at this point. I think that's fair. Um, like this in Resident Evil does the same sort of thing. I love when you get to an area of safety. And I love like the music changing and just like how calm and peaceful it feels. I love that. And that builds up a really cool Pavlovian response when you when you hear that music, when you go into a door in Resident Evil and you hear that music play, and it's like, yeah, we're, we're safe. I know I'm safe. It's good. Uh, it also allows for some really interesting opportunities to subvert expectations. Enemies are not going to stop spawning, by the way. So let's just book it past these guys. Oh, come on, Mr. Wake. You can dodge better than that. Go, go, go. Can't hurt me now. Jerks, they can. They can throw stuff and still get me. But it's okay. We're safe. Phew. We did it. Still didn't use batteries. Kinda. We have plenty of ammo, but, you know. Still like to conserve. Okay, more of that luminous paint down there. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I like having a hefty meal to get through the day, but I also do enjoy... I do enjoy me a good salad when the opportunity presents itself. There you are. Thank goodness. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Another flare! Oh, thank goodness. Up to three flare gun shots. That's awesome. Oh, 
Caution, proceed at your own risk. Murderous shadow monster area ahead. It's just some unused logging equipment and birds and stuff. There's nothing super scary going on here. That's what we call a threever. <laughs> and that's what we call, I don't want to deal with those jerks. Just wanted to grab my manuscript page. Just head inside in peace. No big deal. Oh my gosh, shotgun again. More, another shotgun, more shells. It is fully reloaded. There's a TV. We're not in the gas station though. Just gonna stick with the old faithful some mods. Cool. Just gonna stick with the revolver for now. Yeah, did we turn on the TV? Let's see what's on TV. I hope it's me. I am a pretty famous, important author. Science. It bestows immortality on oh, those better. who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. Quantum Suicide? If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment, known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please. Stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. It got unplugged. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality. Whoops. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. In night springs. Yay! Oh, I love those shows. Very good. That was fun. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, TV. Great. Uh, we actually saw Quantum Suicide. This is a whole weird tangent in The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. One of the people was uh, basically like a quantum gambler. He did that, but ensured that he always won until Dr. Decker got in his head and 
made him start losing, and yeah, it was a whole thing. Boy, that game was also super great. Anyway, back to... Back to this. What are you... what is... what were you running? You're just squeaking and squawking, I guess? Oh, good. If the crate of infinite ammo, that's never a good sign. It means the gamer's expecting you to want to use lots and lots of ammo. Even with the the engine to cool, dropping tools is as easy and fatal. I forgot how fast you are. Then run car! Alright, fine, we use our first battery. Fine, game. Stucky, you wanna you wanna come hold still for a second, buddy? Did I reload our pistol? I did not. I did now. You're almost de shadowified. That faster. Blind him. Shoot him. There we go. Yay! Nordic walking! Nope. Omega-3 fatty acids are right. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. But the Nordic walking. That does sound like fun. Although with all of these sprinting through the forest at night, I don't know, maybe we don't really need more exercise? Gotta keep our eyes peeled for them. Sweet, sweet manuscript pages. It's one of the few games where, like, the collectible and the lore that's associated with it, at least for the manuscript pages, is compelling enough that I really, 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 really want it all. A lot of games don't do a good job of that. Anyway. Okay. Convinced that there are not any oop, additional secrets here, I say, as I spot the coffee thermos. Speaking of uninspired collectibles. Yeah, okay. I'm happy here. Let's get out of here. Can we... There we go. Got to approach from the right angle. See, the gas station's just right over there. We're definitely going to make it. Not even anything to be concerned about. Oh, there's Deerfest. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? We even heard the official Deerfest theme. Sung by the fantastically metal Viking Brothers. I already forget what their name is. Don't worry. We'll be seeing more of them. We'll be hearing more After of them. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Cool, I like sanity. So there's a page. Better grab that before the float 
floats on over the top of it. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Poor Stucky. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. So something happened to your wife a week ago. Hmm. Hmm. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Yeah, 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 I know. I know you do. You sure you don't want to just run off into the darkness? Is there anything down here? Yes. Coffee thermos. I see it. Probably some evil. Yeah, these guys. Yeah. Woodlums. Dang it. You punks. Stay away from my coffee. Ugh, coffee is so gross too. Why can't it be something good like tea? Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Uh huh, yeah. We might be in a little bit of trouble here. I'd like to not die. Oh, you did not dodge, you dingus. That's pretty good. You shit monsters, get out of here. Leave me alone. Run, get back to the light. Jerks. You're terrible. Okay, let's let's just take a moment and Yeah, uh huh. Does this light not count? No. It's one of these. Gotta find the spotlight. Well, we know what's gonna happen as soon as we go into the garage. Well, we know part of what's gonna happen. Are we gonna find Stucky's corpse? How long ago was he taken? Who knows? The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. Mm-hmm. Yep. Checks out so far. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Losing? Or did you lose it like a week ago? Hey, look at that! Nordic walking! Incontestably proven health benefit. Yeah, like some gummy worms and stuff. Bright Falls Hunting Club? Great. Fireworks galore! Ooh. That seems helpful against evil shadow monsters. What can I read? Wait. Oh. The 68th Annual Deer Fest! September 15th through 18th. Only off by a couple of weeks. Games and activities! Raffle tickets, a fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competitions. Live music! For the children, Bucktooth Charlie in the afternoons, and Montgomery the Mystic's amazing Phantasmagoria in the evenings. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest Parade. Those all seem very good. Can we grab some snacks? There's like a big stuffer down there. Those are pretty good. 
Garlic and vinegar? That's... That's a combination. Are these... Oh, windshield wipers. Car stuff. Got it. Yeah, place is kind of empty. We could at least, like, grab a beer or something. They do also sell propane. Minty stints. Deli gum. Bards! Key component to any successful D&D party. Cabin rental options. Tourist info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a phone. Let's just grab the phone. That's what we're here for. Call the cops for something that apparently maybe happened a week, week ago? Uh, it's getting a bit dicey. Rainfall Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Episode 1.